Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lesson in lecture 6 of 9. Example 5. The functions f and g are given by fx equals to 3 plus exponent 3x and gx equals to ln x minus 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Show that f and g are inverse of each other. Hence, Sketch the graph for f and g. So, how we want to show f and g are inverse to each other. First, we find f composite gx. g is ln x minus 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Okay, this is what we substitute into f. 3 plus exponent 3 times ln x minus 3 to the power of 1 over 3. Now we simplify okay, this function. We can use property of log. You bring the power to the front 1 over 3 So we have 3 plus exponent ln x minus 3. So we will get 3 plus x minus 3, there is x. Now let's find g f x. Okay, g composite f x. We take the function f into g g 3 plus exponent 3x substitute into g so ln 3 plus exponent 3x minus 3 to the power of 1 over 3 simplify the function ln exponent 3x to the power of 1 over 3 we can simplify to ln exponent x and the last one we got the value of x okay let's make the conclusion f composite g is equals to x and g composite f also equals to x it means that function f and g are uh, inverse of each other. It is shown. Now we want to sketch graph f and g. Let's proceed with graph of fx. fx equals to 3 plus exponent 3x. First, find the domain the domain for exponential function is negative infinity to infinity then we find the horizontal asymptote for this function the horizontal asymptote is at y equals to 3 then we want to find the intercept for y intercept x equals to 0, we will get y equals to 4. Now we want to plot the points. First, we draw the horizontal asymptote at y equals to 3, the intercept at 4, then sketch the curve. D is for fx. We draw the line of y equals to x. We reflect horizontal asymptote so that it will become vertical asymptote at x equals to 3. x intercept will be at 4. Then we sketch the curve and we get the graph for gx. Example 6. The functions f and g are defined by fx equals to 2x plus 3 
and gx equals to x minus 1. Find f inverse and g inverse. For f inverse, we find by using f composite f inverse equals to x. Substitute f inverse into function f to f inverse x plus 3 equals to x. Simplify the equation. 2f inverse x equals to x minus 3. Therefore, f inverse x is x minus 3 over 2. Now, let's proceed for g inverse. g composite g inverse x is equals to x. Substitute g inverse into g. So, g inverse x minus 1 equals to x. Therefore, g inverse equals to x plus 1. For part B, we want to find G composite F inverse. First, we need to find G composite F. G composite Fx is equal to G. Substitute Fx, so G to x plus 3. So, we will get 2x plus 3 minus 1. Simplify, then you will get 2x plus 2. Then we use this function to get its inverse. So g composite f, composite with g composite f inverse, x is equals to x. So remember, when we want to find the inverse, we will use composite function. So substitute g composite f inverse into g f x. So 2 g composite f inverse plus 2 equals to x. 2 g composite f inverse equals to x minus 2. Therefore, G composite F inverse, X equals to X minus 2 over 2. Then for C, we want to find F inverse composite G inverse. We already find both of the function from part A. F inverse composite G inverse X equals to substitute G inverse there is x plus 1. Then substitute x plus 1 into f inverse. So we'll get x plus 1 minus 3 over 2. Simplify the function. So we will get x minus 2 over 2. We can conclude that g composite f inverse is equals to f inverse composite g inverse because both give the same answer x minus 2 over 2. Example 7 the functions f and g are defined as follows fx equals to 4 minus x square and gx equals to exponent 1 over 2x. First, determine whether f is one-to-one -one function and give the reason. Let's use graphical approach to determine whether f is one-to-one. -one. fx is a quadratic function for minus x square. This function has maximum point. So, you can find the maximum point by using the formula so x equals to negative b is 0 over 2 times negative 1 so x is 0 therefore y will be equals to 4 minus 0 square equals to 4 0 4 is the maximum point okay the maximum is at 4 and also don't forget to find x intercept it is when y equals to 0 4 minus x square equals to 0 
So x squared equals to 4, x is plus minus 2. D is the graph for fx. Now, we draw horizontal line. So the horizontal line cuts the graph at two points. So the function is not one to one. Therefore, the function has no inverse. For part B, we want to find G inverse and state the domain. G composite G inverse equals to X. Substitute G inverse into G. So exponent 1 over 2 G inverse X equals to X. Simplify the equation. So 1 over 2 G inverse X equals to ln X. Therefore, G inverse equals to 2 ln X. So for G inverse, we have logarithmic function. So we can find the domain by taking the element inside log and it's always greater than 0. Therefore, domain G inverse is equals to 0 to infinity. For C, obtain the composite function G inverse composite fx. G inverse composite f, we substitute fx into function G inverse. So we will get 2 non 4 minus x square. That is the answer. Example 8, find the value of k for the given function. A, fx equals to 2, x minus 2 square plus k for x greater than equals to 2 and f inverse 5 equals to 3. It gives us f inverse 5 equals to 3. Now 5 is the value of x and 3 is the value of the inverse function or we can say it as the value of y. So if you use the concept, we can change so that f3 is equals to 5. This is the concept for inverse. x and y are vice versa. Then we can substitute 3 into function f. 2 times 3 minus 2 square plus k equals to 5. Simplify the function. So 2 times 1 square plus k equals to 5. And k equals to 5 minus 2. Then k equals to 3. For part b, fx equals to k times x plus 1 square minus 2 for x greater than equals to negative 1 and f inverse 7 is equals to 1 over 2. We take the value of f inverse that is f inverse 7 is equals to 1 over 2. From this value, we can find value of f1 over 2 that is equals to 7. The value of x and y are interchanged to each other. Substitute 1 over 2 into function f. So k 1 over 2 plus 1 square minus 2 equals to 7. Simplify. So we will get k times 3 over 2 square equals to 5. Therefore, your k equals to 5 times 4 over 9. K is equals to 20 over 9.